I think uh, the Arthas kind of fit your comp. Tusk Tracer needs a very sustainable warrior so that they have time to dart in and out over and over. So I think it was a clever warrior pick. Did trio. Uh, compared to, for instance, Garrosh. Garrosh needs more support than Arthas. And uh, he can't stay in a fight for as long as Arthas. So he doesn't fit Tracer, Garrosh. Nor an Uberak for that matter. The entire match is in the chat. <laughs> yep. Hey, Drab, Emort, Nylap, Palindrome, Bard. Why did you copy someone else face roll spam? Why didn't you make your own? Greetings, friend. It was the exact same as the person above you. Sorcerer Fall, Gisberger. Thanks for the subs, guys. Why would you play melee supports over ranged ones since everyone will tend to focus support and melee range just puts you in a risk? That's a good question. But instead of using vague labels of melee and range, let's talk instead about the direct comparison between two examples. It's easier to look at two specific examples rather than reducing it entirely to range or melee. I can give some general uh, analytics for melee and range, but let's compare it to. So, Rhaegar has extreme wave clear. Uther has more stunt than any other support. And Stukov has a permanent silence. Glory huh? to the Horde. And Karazim is one of the best finishers in the game to ki confirm kills. So, I can already say that none of the supports at range, almost, can do that those things as well. So first of all, we need to understand that they are unique. And they're unique. Then about range and melee. Both range and melee supports need oh, to keep themselves safe damn. at all times. It's only the desire to weave in auto attacks that would put a melee support at risk. It's not the fact that they are melee that therefore they must be at the melee front. You can stay wherever you want. It's the auto attack that makes you come close. Then the question is, do Uther, Stukov, Rhaegar need to auto attack the frontline warriors to be effective in a game of Heroes of the Storm? And the answer is no, you don't need to. Generally, melee supports will help to peel for the backline. They use their auto attacks on the people that dive your backline. And that's how their auto attacks come into play. You should never just walk forward and bite the front line with Rhaegar. Like, oh, there's an ETC. Let's use my auto attack. So I hope that helps you to understand the differences a bit. Now, talking about ranged supports, they can weave in a lot of auto attacks. So they do end up doing a little bit more damage. They can still remain safe. But they will still miss out on other things. The balance of power is fairly evenly distributed. They've gone for Lucio and Thrall. It's Dragonshire. We've got Genji, Uther, Greymane. They still need a support. Rhaegar... No, they don't need a support. They have Lucio. Uh, they might look to use the Haka. No, the Haka is banned. Well, I'm really on top of things here. <laughs> okay, ETC is banned too. Um... <laughs> Uh, let's just ban the warrior that gets that gets countered by Greymane. <laughs> but still, it's it's good. Like I needed to ban Stitches or Anubarak because Gorge or Cocoon can counter Genji. Destiny. You know, I was thinking of banning Varian actually, but I used my entire time talking, talking, talking. So yeah, cool, good stuff. Um, okay, so we don't have a top laner yet. Maybe I will be top lane. Who knows? Can you focus on the game smiley face? I can, but I didn't do it yet. Mm, yeah, I can. Versus Thrall, huh? 
I'll do Malfeo. Mm, yeah, true, because of Lucia. I was worried about what counters Genji. Yeah, Lucio and Arthas combine so well. Garrosh mm, is good, probably. I would say Garrosh is probably good. We have follow up in Uther, Hammer of Justice. Hey, are you still there, uh, Milky Tea? I'm playing Malthael for you now. Hello Grubby, I have 8 wins, 27 losses this season, from gold 5 all the way to silver 4. Any advice? My advice would be to play to your mechanical best heroes. Now that you're in lower league, it's a perfect chance to try some of the heroes that you feel you're good with, to see how, how much you can dominate uh, your opponents at that level. Uh, take it as a learning opportunity. Go one trick a hero, uh, you know. Greetings, Don't expect too much friend. of your teammates and just use it as practice. At every league, you need to relearn the game. Even if I play exactly like I play now, although I am in Masters, I make the same mistakes I or successes that I make now, I will Game still lose games in bronze. My multi -sector if I play exactly like I play now. Stream. Landed in Melbourne, Australia, where it's fresh, tasty food and no worries. Very nice. Enjoy, man. Melbourne. God, you're traveling all over, man. But yeah, if I play at uh, bronze or silver, I will still lose a game now and then. If I don't play to my level. So you need to rediscover where you're at and play things that work for you there. And use it as practice. It's like, oh, at this league people think that Valera is actually good. Don't act superior and arrogant and be like, oh, banning Valera, you stupid idiot. No, just be like, okay, I'll just ban Valera then. It makes my allies happy. Right, and also, no, instead of, you know, at where you usually it. play, it's like, oh, with I Kerrigan, apparently I own everything. So, you just keep picking Kerrigan until you're back out of the league. Green On a pale horse. horse. <laughs> Good? No. Or? No. We're or? starting no. this thing in 10 seconds. Five, four, three, two, one! Let the battle begin! I think I'll go single target build. <laughs> On the pale pig. I thank you. I'm zero to six with Malthile the last two days. Now I'm curious about your Malthile. Me too. I haven't played him in ages. I just thought E was W. <laughs> Ancient shrines awaken. I'll get death Control reach. Them and let loose the dragon knight. Activate the shrines and the dragon's power is yours. Happy Cloud, Malthael. You know, if you subscribe, you can use Grub H and you have the Happy Cloud as an emote. Beautiful, guys. It works. Greetings, friends. Choose a talent. 
I get dying alone. Greetings, friend. I will go for a tap. Oh, by the way, whenever you play against Thrall, make sure to check his level 1 quest. He went for Echo of the Elements. Okay. What do you think about die alone in last rides on solo lanes like Braxis? Yeah, that's what I'm doing, Strax. That's what I'm doing. Thrall on Plepko though, yeah. He might be one of those uh, Smurfers or something. Um, touch of death, really good on Thrall, Lucio and Lily. I'll take it. It's a bit harder to use. Cold Hand, definitely the, the easiest. And Cold Hand power. also has value the against Thrall. Calls from within the stone. But I feel like against double support and with two heroes that have self-sustaining capabilities like Thrall and Gul'dan, and uh, going, not taking touch of death is an, an egregious error. soak mid or they can take the thing and then we can get the DK nice kunai <laughs> uh, since Thrall is not yet taking top I have a chance to get the DK <laughs> you mad? Try hard. <laughs> it was pretty risky taking last rides. Um, you know, Cassian on Varian. No, Gerby, why? You seriously want to. Oh. Uh, it was pretty risky, but. Um, But I felt like he had no parry charges and we didn't proc it often enough for him to have infinity resets. <laughs> nice day. I mean, I guess it's like not taking cleanse against Kerrigan and then saying you have better. Two, 
two charges. I can't believe that the first two charges of last ride actually gave me two stacks. How delicious. Grub H. Uh, this kind of game has a very high likelihood of um, people getting overconfident just because of how hard we've been winning. Clever escape. Grab A. Part of the joy of playing Malthael is to continue saying Clever Escape. Inevitable end. It actually pairs up with uh, last rights. I mean, with uh, die alone. Because you can remove marks and make sure it, it goes on only one target. Remove Marx, establish capitalism. <laughs> See. See people get overconfident, take bad fights. He did block my last rights this time. Oh, I still got it. What? Hey, wait, how did I get a stack? Or did I have three already? Wait, how did I get a stack? I felt like I cast last rights on Varian. He had protected, he didn't die, and I still got a stack. True or no? Oh, the third was from Thrall. Okay, 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 okay. All right, then he just blocked it with parry and it was just a big disaster. Got it. Mad. Stacks. Managed to pre cleanse his horrify. This inevitable end is actually really good. What do the stacks do? They reduce the cooldown. Get soul collector. Uh, you can uh, do it from further away. This range. 
Uh, also with the shorter cooldown, that means more die alone damage, more heal as well, of course. I thank you. Hi, Gobby. Thanks for the epic stream and all the tips. My pleasure. Can we see a Rex again? D, hope you will to GM. Hope, hope I will too. And I think Rexar will help with that. Thank you for the request and uh, no problem. Thank you very much. Thank care. I also took the level 1 W range instead of going for Fear the Reaper movement speed. Just to add value to uh, teleportations. To make it easier to teleport. As long as DK is uh, gaining distraction value, I am Grub H. We got everything out of the DK that we possibly could. Still closer to 20. I'm glad that I'm fulfilling your vision of how Malthael is supposed to be played, Lackluster. Power gathers within the shrines. Unleash the dragon's wrath. There we go. Just joking.
Well, he killed himself, and so did I. We may just have lost the game now. <laughs> <laughs> Play smart, walk and troll at their side of the map. Bad decision. Uh, why this alt on mouth versus two healers? Because their healing is not uh, burst. And I was in the solo lane. Oh, nice! Kyoto da! Wow, good job! Really nice. Why did they go top with the DK Monka S? Yeah, bot is better. But I think it's because they had a big minion wife push at bot, so they figured split pressure. I feel like I've been dead for longer than usual. Maybe this has something to do with it. The dragon shall rule again. I'm going to pull back for now. No heroic for them, so let's jump in. Oh, nice. Without Uther. Anyway, we got Lucio too, so. Vanguard. Oh my god. Lucky to live. He stepped forward by. He was typing. Enemy slain. Jump back, double whammy. Spamming keyboard helped. My death shall have purpose. We need to take this enemy. <laughs> No, Uther! <laughs> Tickled to death. <laughs> revive? No, I don't want to revive. I don't want my next respawn to be cut by 25%. This is not an important moment to revive, in my opinion. You can hold Q to cast right away. I know, but then how could I do verbal assault with the keyboard? Yeah. 
There's a short period where we're 4v5. to the top come on they're all split <laughs> we take the worst fight seriously when it's 5v3 team lags Yeah, but why are we? Heads up, people! Our fort's been trashed. Hey, the enemy is attacking our fort. Well, you're dead. Don't take it personal. No offense. <laughs> you know, we'll watch the VOD together. If it's my fault, it's my fault. But let's look at it. I'll just give you my thoughts. No offense. Okay. Okay. <laughs> Don't laugh, you're about to lose, idiot. Okay. Look. Situation. First of all, let's let's forget that Uther died to double support. Uh, when we're 3v2 and could take the DK. So, they're not focused, right? They're starting to talk about Mopsio and people getting reported and stuff. They're not focused. Now we're in a 4 versus 5. We have one laser. We see two mid. They engage on Garrosh. Garrosh runs. It was risky, but he survives. I take top. Okay, at this time, Uther is still not back. I'm taking top. We have pressure on the map, and we have the bottom laser. We see them all mid, so it's reasonable to believe that they will all come mid, right? So I take top, I rejoin, and then we'll be as five. Then we have options. Once you are as five, when you have double blue laser, you can seek the team fight. Uh, we have, by the way, three keeps versus two. That means that the map is an advantage for us about 65 to 35. 
That means if we play infinite waiting game, we will eventually win due to catapult pressure. Furthermore, they have to defend mid with minimum one. And they need to take one of the lasers with minimum one to stop the pressure. If ever they go to defend the catapult with one, then we will force mid and take the Dragonite. So all you gotta do is you wait S5 in mid and you wait to see until they swap. So let's see how we play it. Okay, first of all, Thrall shows up bot, removing the pressure for them. But Uther wasn't back yet, so we cannot yet pounce. So it's going. the game is going to go into a neutral state. We are now S5. Greymane asks for assistance, so do I. Thrall was bot, but soon will not be. We're about to get back in the fight. And so this is the situation. Varian gets taunted by Garrosh. But he gets away no problem. I have cleanse, so I didn't need divine shield at all. I was, I mean, I was 85% life. I keep using cleanse and he also d shield. So the d shield is wasted. So in theory, we should not want the team fight without d shield since they didn't use anything yet. So we could wait until the heroic comes back. We try to get a pick off. Horrify gets wasted. Now this is a very important moment because with Horrify wasted, we have a really much better team fight. Everyone gets away, but everyone is hurt, okay? So people are tapping or not tapping. So now Garros is hearthstoning because he was hurt, but I think he needs to stay. Uther can just heal him and he'll be almost full. Greyman is full life mana, I'm full life mana. Genji was pretty healthy. And we recognize that they don't have heroics. Also, we have catapult pressure. We still have top laser. So what we can do is to go S5 to take bottom laser right now. If we don't take bottom laser, we can go top and kill the person who goes for top laser. But none of this really matters because no one is saying anything. I'm not saying anything. There's no plan being made. So... If there's no plan made, then maybe people have different ideas, right? Either way, I start clearing mid minions because it gives vision. We see one mid thrall. We see Gul'dan at home. So we know that at most... Okay, this is the important moment. Lucio shows up in the top. Gul'dan is at home and thrall showed mid. So we have a number of options here that revolve around killing Lucio, uh, engaging mid or taking bot. Genji's job is probably to take bottom laser because he is the one that can do so safely and still get away. However, didn't say anything, right? But here they say, get HP and fight at mid. So I must admit I did not see that message. Well, they're afraid of me, but I have unstoppable. They do not need to be afraid. Gul'dan isn't here, go. Uh... So we showed up late because they were healing. We're fighting. Gul'dan isn't here, he said, and I take bot. Yeah, it was my fault. Yeah. Because I did not read that text. Yeah. It should have been a 5v5 mid. The call was made. The double lasers are there. And uh, although they did not yet... They weren't all mid. They weren't all mid, but they were soon to be. So I figured it's better to take bottom laser and buy some time. But the call was made. We go for 5v5. Here's why I don't think it's a good idea. First of all, the call was made. But here's why I don't think it was a good idea. Uh, if they win the fight, they can immediately pick up Dragonite and end the game. Whereas, if we win the fight, it takes a long time still to take the Dragonite. And the map was in our favor, so I prefer everything that buys time and uh, extends the game over a 50-50 teamfight that would lead to a potential loss. 
However, because the call was made and I didn't say anything against it, I have to admit. In the game I felt differently and I don't like being told like, no offense, but you're the reason we lost. Because there's so many things that lead to this moment, particular many throws. Uh, overconfidence. I told you guys overconfidence was taking a hold over my teammates. I don't like to be told like that, no offense, but, but I have to admit. So I didn't actually expect to reach this conclusion. <laughs> But it's true. So be it. We have a lot of coins, man. Oh, messed up the combo. Oh, nice speed barrier. 